Those aren't monsters. You see? Uh -huh. They're the same things in the dark as they are in the light. <laughs> Your imagination got the best of you, George. But you know what? I have something to make you feel better. Your own personal nightlight. Now you'll never be afraid in the dark. Ooh. <laughs> All right, good night, George. Bad news, George. The storm knocked the power out. Aww. Hey, don't worry. We won't be in the dark. I have got my trusty Spelunker Scout's flashlight. Uh. Wow, that's funny. I always keep it right here. Uh -oh. I know how to handle this old storm. It'll be fun, just like camping out. Right, George? Camping out in the living room would have been fun. If George had been able to fall asleep. No, well, still no electricity, George. Huh? Yep, that last big storm knocked it out for four whole days. But don't worry, I know my flashlight is around here somewhere. George knew he had to get that flashlight back if he wanted to sleep tonight. But the thought of going back to that cave alone was too scary. <laughs> oh, you want those leftover walnuts? Well, help yourself. <laughs> George had led Jumpy to the cave. Now he had to get the squirrel to follow him inside. Huh? That was easier than he expected. was right. The only scary things in the dark were in George's imagination. I didn't frighten you, did I, George? <laughs> oh, couldn't make it home before the rain, so I came in here. Oh, and I found this. Want it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been exploring this cave since I was a boy. Come on, I'll show you around. That night, the power was restored. But George almost wished it was still out. And so, after a day of spooky shadows and strange shapes and sounds, George found that he never felt so at home as he did right then in the dark. <laughs> <laughs>